Hey everyone, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back. If you've noticed I haven't been posting for the last two days, the best way to find out what's going on is to follow me on Discord and Twitter. I have those links in the description. I'll let you know ahead of time if I'm not going to be posting. And also if there's something going on like this banner, I'll let you know my thoughts if it's needed. So if you do want to keep up to date, just follow me on Discord and Twitter and I will post if I'm not going to be posting for a couple days and I'll tell you about the current banner or whatever's going on. But since we got that covered, let's jump into this key R2. Key R2 just came out. It's our first tier 5, which means we are getting tier 5s. I had no doubt in my mind that wasn't going to happen. Tier 5s are basically better than tier 4s in damage wise until better metals come out. As you can see, we get a range of guild from 80 to 150%. So that's more than doubling your multiplier on the metal. So the metals we got are Key R2 and the three new ones. The three new ones cost 0 gauge, um, they're all AoE. And they're all 100% guilted, which is good. There's a power, magic, and speed. They're all upright, so no reverse metals in this pull at all. Um, my thoughts on all this, it is a 5 pull. You are guaranteed it on the 5th pull, but what the metal does itself deals 4 extremely powerful hits, lowers magic-based defense of all targets by 2 tiers for 1 turn. Um, you had a better chance of just spending your money on the World of Final Fantasy medals. They were tier 3s that were so much better than this tier 5. Now, the reason I say that is because this tier 5 is not going to be able to be guilted unless you're going to spend tons of money or if you're really, really, really lucky, which most likely those two aren't happening for about 90% of us. Anyone that can pay for this medal and is going to, it's a great medal. It is going to hit like a tank. This medal right here any metal that is tier 5 and fully guilted is going to do a lot of damage. But what we care about is what it does. And what it does, a lot of metals we already have do that, plus they're guilted already. So there's no point in spending your jewels on this banner if you're just conserving your jewels for the best banner or the best opportunities. This isn't one of those pulls. This pull could be totally ignored. Uh, ignored. Ignored. This pull is basically for anyone that's collecting or constantly spending money on the game. This is a good metal if you can guilt it. That's just how it is with all tier 4s we had before us. The tier 4s before us, we couldn't guilt them, so they weren't that great. There was a couple tier 4s that did like good effects, like lowering the defense of enemies by 2 tiers. Stuff like that. Stuff we couldn't get in other metals. But besides that, tier 4s were worthless unless we can guilt them. Because we can guilt tier 3s, and the game was more... Not more. The game was very doable with just tier 3s guilted. We didn't need tier, four, tier tier 4s. Same thing goes for the tier 5s for now. Until we can guilt tier 5s, there's no point to pulling for these unless you're pulling to guilt. So, my advice to everyone is, save your jewels for this one. Just let it pass by. I know it looks really cool. It does. I, I wouldn't mind collecting it myself, but at the same time, I'm not going to waste the jewels that are going to help me later on in the game. Just so I can have a collection. If I really want this artwork, I'll grab a wallpaper and throw my computer. <laughs> so besides that, the other three medals, they are just zero gauge medals. Just like the last zero gauge medals. Anyone who guilted them, you use them for certain, certain situations. But there's other medals that have higher multipliers that are better in your Keyblade. We don't have really an SP cost because we have a ton of APPs and attack boost too with that. So we can get away with Keyblades having two or more SP costs. Zero gauge cost is just really nice. It would be cool to make a whole key, key blade full of zero gauges, but we don't need it. It's just for style or kind of just bragging rights or looks. Like, oh, look, I have all guilted zero gauge medals. But anyways, key R2, cool looking metal. I would love it, but I'm not guilting it, so I'm not pulling for it. And if you're not pulling for it to guilt it, then there's no point to pull into it because we have tons of medals that already do this. And then we got another update, which was 0 AP until the 12th, so we have, or the 13th for some people. We have a ton of time to catch up. Like I said, anytime there's a 0 AP, if you haven't farmed and got like 99 stacks of a bunch of uh, Huey Deweys and Louis, Sids, not Sids, uh, the Mickeys, all that. If you haven't farmed like at least 2 to 3 stacks sitting in your inventory, I say 2 of each, 3 the most, and you should be fine for a very long time. If you haven't done that, spend time burning yourself out because i know this burns people out if you just grind all day but if you do it now later on you're going to be okay just like me i've been going months without actually turning on the game i turn on the game do my daily get my 200 duels do the high score challenge whatever is important but i don't touch 
the special tab anymore. Just because this account has so much, I actually ignore the special tab unless I have to. So for zero IP, pick a week where you know zero IP is going on, grind, go crazy. You're gonna really hate the game for a little bit. Not hate it, you're just gonna be really burnt out on it. But when you're done that, you don't have to touch it again for a long time. And if you, even if you want, even like during the week that it is there and you have nothing else to do, you can like fill up on your 99s, top them up. So you have 300 again or 297. But abuse your OAP while it's around because it makes a difference when you're actually doing all those events for Classic Donald, so on and so on. You don't have to farm and then farm Classic Donald and then farm the Evolve Medals. You just farm the Classic Donald and then you just upgrade it. And that's it. So that's it for this update. There was just those two things. Hopefully there's a little bit more coming out in, tomorrow or tonight. It should be. We're going to see. Um, I don't want to touch on it too much right now. I just wanted to get this real out quick because I was gone for two days. I left it on Twitter, what I thought about this banner. But I did want to make a video because a lot of people do wait for these videos and they do like my opinion on this. So it's up to you guys if you want to pull for this for the collection. Um, if you're going to pull to fully guilt it. And that's about it. Collection and fully guilting it. Besides that, there should be no reason to pull in this banner. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I like farts. I bet you do.